the growth of ENCODA has impacted me significantly in uh, my community practice as well as my practice at the University of Rhode Island. It's kind of amazing to reflect back on the last two years and being involved and seeing how much it has grown and how it's shaped my career. I was fortunate to have met Josh and Mike Reff when they visited the University of Rhode Island a conference in via phone actually and that was our first interaction. Uh, since then I've had a significant involvement with the oral chemo education sheets. Uh, as well as many other patient education uh, processes that we've tried to institute. Um, we've been fortunate to develop an appy site for students, so in the last year of pharmacy school, students have the opportunity to network with the ENCODA personnel over in Casanova and experience what it's like to be a part of association management and to also help us with many of our initiatives, uh, especially the OCE sheets themselves. I think that uh, allowing patients to fill their prescriptions through medically integrated dispensaries are extremely beneficial for many reasons. As someone who's worked in that model and is working towards developing an MID at my current practice site, uh, I've seen the benefits of being able to view the patient's profile from a clinical perspective as well as from the pharmacy perspective and taking um, advanced, kind of proactive steps to make sure that the patient receives their medication in an expedited fashion. So for instance, I've been able to get patients' medications on the same day in some instances where we knew that it would have a, an impact on their quality of life uh, when we did have the medically integrated dispensing model uh, instituted. And that just simply wouldn't be possible if, if that wasn't the case. So being able to react to uh, the patient's status in a really timely manner, whether it be a refill or uh, an initiation of a new prescription or stopping the medication appropriately when they have untoward side effects and avoiding that cost that's associated with it. I decided to become more involved in ENCODA because the core of their mission is the patient and really feeling like I could relate to that is what drew me to become more involved knowing that the patient would be the person to benefit at the end of all the work that we do. So we're really excited that the OCE sheets seem to be very well received and I think that that is the case because a lot of people were already doing this work in silos. So my experience prior to becoming involved with uh, ENCODA and the OCE sheets specifically was that I had bounced from a couple different practices and started to create our own education sheets but when you're just one person it becomes very burdensome to do that work by yourself. Being a part of the ENCODA OCE sheet initiative, uh, it allows for practices to not reinvent the wheel and to instead work together and produce a higher quality product that eventually can uh, lead to patient education and optimizing their understanding of what their cancer care is. So the OCE sheets were created in collaboration with ACCC, ENCODA obviously, HOPA, uh, and ONS. And the dynamic was extremely passionate and uh, collaborative. I found that working, especially with the Oncology Nursing Society, since they were a different discipline than what I am myself as a clinical pharmacist, helped to provide different perspectives and insights into the end um, care of the patient. So I really ex appreciated that um, insight from different disciplines, you know, nurses, physicians, and pharmacists uh, coming together and meeting that common goal that we had to develop these sheets. This year I was nominated for the Living Mission Award and I'm extremely humbled to be sitting next to many other providers that I know the hard work that they put in day in, day out for their cancer patients. It means a lot to me to be considered for this award and I have to step back from saying that you know, I feel like I've done a lot of work and maybe I deserve it, but sitting next to the other people that have been nominated is extremely humbling and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I, I am, am Encoda. Encoda.